You gotta be kidding me! I just knew something like this would happen! And after all we've been through, I tried for so long, I tried to uphold a friendly persona, but wow, you really brought me to my limit. Though, I gotta say, it did feel good to finally snap, you know? She never saw it coming! Best of all, she thought you betrayed her in the end! What an idiot! I bet she even... Nuh-uh-uh! Trigger happy, are we? I think you forgot who's in charge here. We had a nice run, didn't we? Too bad I won't miss it. <laughs> I should have done this earlier, huh? Oh? You're still holding on? So stubborn. Lighten up a little, pal. You do know this didn't have to happen, right? We had a plan. A simple one. Go to Asgard! But I guess you're too stupid to follow directions. Don't know why I thought this would end any differently. You've always been predictable. Oh? What do I mean? Well, buddy, let me show you. You see, I've been watching you for a while. Gosh, what one is it? Gotta be in the hundreds. I've almost lost count. <laughs> Ah, hello. Are you alright? You must be wondering what is going on. I am Toriel, caretaker of the roof. I let you carry on your merry way so many times. You are learning so much, my child. I watched the same childish behavior play out over over and over sure small decisions here and there would vary but the journey would always end with you ignorantly living with Toria I had to interfere At first, my efforts seemed to work. Tensions rose and you left the ruins. But then, other issues crept up. No matter how many times you journeyed on, you always die. to steer you off the path of failure as early as possible. So, I tampered with a little switch, and... Well, the rest is history. Uh... Aw, oh, come on! You're still here? I thought at least my story might bore you so much that you'd give in. You really want to do this the hard way? <laughs> All right then. Let's have a little fun before I absorb your soul for good. Now, 
Remember what I taught you. Dodge the bullets. Hello? Where am I? Mom? Dad? Anybody? Help me! Please! Help me! No! No! No, nothing! Clover? Clover! It is you! I can't believe it! Come here! I was so scared! This place... It's Snowden, right? It sure looks like it. I haven't the slightest clue what's going on here. The last thing I remember was us talking on that rooftop. Oh yeah, we were going to my house. I don't quite know where it is from here, but we'll search together. I'm so happy I found you! So happy I found you! I found you!
<laughs> I can slip you away for a second, didn't ya? You were quite a vigilant one. Bet you could have outlasted Asgore if you bothered to reach him. Even though your choices in this timeline are useless to me now, I didn't outright hate our time together. Not all of it. To your lost soul deciding who lives or dies. Most of the time you were insufferable. But when you gave in, gave in to your true violent urges, that was the best part. That's when I knew you had it in you to fight the king. But that was so long ago. <laughs> Just look at you now. Barely recognizable. You know, some say yellow is the color of justice. Close, but that's not the word I would choose. Yellow is the color of judgment. Consequence. You would know, wouldn't you? Who cares about all that? Life's all about the thrill! How fun your experiences are! Our time here has been way better than any interaction out there! And I'm not looking for it to end any time soon! Of course, it can't last forever. After I overtake their soul, I'll kill Asgore. I'll absorb all those poor children you couldn't save. Then, and only then, I will become God. But for now, this is only the beginning. So please, resist. Let's entertain each other a while longer. After all, in this world, it's kill or be killed. Useless. Even now. All of it. <laughs> I can't believe I thought this run might be it. It's no wonder we make a good team. You're a lot like me in a way. Too stubborn to lie down and accept your situation. Too determined. You're so annoying. I thought this would be fun, and I suppose it was, for a moment. But I'm over it now. I don't think either of us feel like fighting for all eternity, so... I'll cut you a deal. I'm going to reset. Back to when you first arrived. Of course, you probably won't remember this. We can be pals all over again, reunited. If we end up in the same spot, I may try this again. But... If you can remember anything from right now, try to make different decisions next time. There's a better timeline out there for both of us. Not that I care about you, this outcome just sucks. It was all in my mind. No one could see it, it wasn't threatening lives. It doesn't come close to what I'm truly aiming for. When I reach that goal, you'll be there to witness it. A spectacle like the world's never seen. So, when we meet again in that dingy room, you're gonna help me get what I want. Like it or not, I decide your fate now. <laughs> if only I could see your reaction to all this. Oh, who am I kidding? Your face would only look like it always did. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll let you go. 
I do need a little time to practice my intro monologue, though. Feel free to pace yourself before the big fall. See you later, Clover.